Well, how are you doing, Misako? Well, we made some clips. I never thought of this, you know, seven years ago, you were just uh, in a bad condition. I thought I'd bring you into the hospital, bring you down to the nursing home. They take care of you. Looks like a pretty nice place. Never thought about this, you know. Then I started feeding you when they want to put you on the tube. And all just came spontaneously. We discovered a great thing, Sako. It's like uh, you can eat if someone helps you, but they don't want to help you. They just want to put you on the tube, you know. And uh, nobody's writing anything about this so much. I don't know. I haven't come across it. I mean, surfing the web and all that type of stuff. And there ain't jack shit about that. And, uh, you know, how many years has this, has this place been? How many homes in Japan? How many in America? How many in the world that are doing the same thing? You know, people can eat. They don't want to feed them, man, because they can't eat by themselves. So they put them on the tube, you know, when it's not even dangerous. And then they say it's dangerous. And she's been doing it for seven years, huh, Masako? We made a great discovery it's spontaneously. We didn't even plan this out at all, you know. Of course, who wants to plan something so terrible? Whoever even thinks of something so terrible? But it happened to you, so I'm sure they're doing it to other people because even after seven years, they still don't even want to feed you, and they still have this tube right there. They don't want to take it out when you can eat. Why do they even have a tube, you know? They still have this tube, and they, they don't even feed you, you know. If I don't come here, they don't feed her, you know. They say they feed her. Yeah, they feed her a couple of tablespoons or something. But I, I must admit, I'll tell you the truth. Truthfully, there are a couple of people in there that do feed her. I came and, yeah, I could have finished feeding her by that time, but they fed her, you know, a half and sometimes even three quarters. So I can't say every time. So some people in there are feeding them. But I can tell you one thing that uh, maybe out of a hundred times, she's fed properly, I guess, even if it's not all that, you know, she's fed properly. Out of a hundred times, I would say three times, four times would be giving them a lot of credit, but I, I have to give them credit. There's some people in there that feed them, but uh, you know, uh, yeah. So I'm not saying every time, but I'm not exaggerating that three out of a hundred. I'm not exaggerating that at all. And I'm not exaggerating what's happened in the past. And I'm not exaggerating about how she's the only one that's eating right now when there's a law that was made in April of 2014 this year that said when they can eat, they should have an examination to see if it's dangerous or not. If it's not dangerous, they should be fed. And that is the truth, and uh, I don't know the laws of other countries, I don't know what's happening in other countries, I don't even know if this is happening in Japan, but I'm sure, and uh, they're, uh, you know, they didn't even talk to me now, because uh, I'm making these videos, and uh, I, I guess they think, you know, uh, my Japanese is not so good, so it doesn't really matter to them, I have to put it on the web, the Japanese don't understand what I'm saying, probably even if they can understand English very well, they can't catch it you know they probably think I'm just taking pictures of my mother you know but what I'm trying to say is uh, in the past uh, they haven't been feeding people because they can't eat by themselves so they put them on a tube and I think it's to save time and save money and they don't want to hire people and they want to paint their little uh, place over there you can see it's very beautiful and the inside is always waxed and clean. It's clean, it's a nice place. I mean, you look at it it's superficially. They f faked me off for a couple of years, actually. And I came here often. And uh, so I can imagine someone coming once a week. You know, most people don't come and visit their uh, relatives very often. But uh, there's some people that come here. They feed them. I'm sure they come here and feed them because they know if they don't feed them, they'll be soon on the tube and uh, wasted away in the hospital. I, I'd like to show you some of these tube people. And they can have them survive, you know, for years, you know, maybe five, ten years. They'll, they can keep them going on that tube, you know. They just pump nutrition and they look pathetic. They look really bad, you know. If they could eat, and maybe it is dangerous for them, okay, I don't know, you know. But it's just a coincidence that she's the only one. And I, I, I don't know about the other nursing home. 
and uh, they never mention anything. It's like a big secret. Oh, you can't eat by yourself. Tough shit, you know. Okay, put you on the tube, you know, and waste away, you know. It's like, she's still happy. Look, she's smiling, you know. This is a smile. You may not think it's a smile, but it's a smile. And she can understand what I'm saying, can't you, Masako? You just can't talk, right? And you, you, you're sick, you know, but you're not that sick. You know, you're, you're happy. You're almost like hit Satori level. And you're really great, Masako. You've always been a good person. And I think a lot of those other people in there have been really good people. And they shouldn't be treated like that. It's a sin. It's an immoral. It's a maltreatment. It's just ridiculous. They should feed them, you know, if they can eat. I think uh, uh, at least a little bit. They don't even give her anything to drink, you know. I'm sure she's thirsty. I guess they just think they get used to it. And, oh, man, it's really a terrible situation, you know. Eating. Everybody likes eating, you know. Eating is just a... You know, one of the things that people love to do. And they take it away from you. That's it. Uh, and the medical profession, the doctors, they, they're in there. They're really in the... They're saying it's dangerous, you know. So they're just nothing but quacks and getting a good salary for nothing, you know. They should be put in the fields, like this field here, and work their ass off, you know, and see what it, how it is to work out in the sun and sweat. And... Uh, Instead of putting people on the tube.